Right, Easton Clark is a little boy whose smile lights up a room. His parents say he's the strongest person they know. And over the last two months, the Holbrook family has needed every ounce of that strength. Our Jamie Stewart has Easton's story. It was a day filled with smiles and cheers. Family fun, all for the boy who couldn't experience any of it. We were told the worst, so from day one, we were just completely devastated. Here's the story of what happened to Easton Clark. Since his dad coaches baseball at Mount Sinai High School, let's call it a comeback story. I was taking him up the stairs to, um, to go for a nap because I just felt extremely lightheaded. At that moment, that was the last thing I remember was going upstairs. My brother had called me and said, I'm coming right over. He said, get in, you gotta drive, Easton's hurt. David doesn't know why he blacked out on the stairs that day, but when he came to, Easton had suffered a traumatic spinal cord injury and was rushed here to Stony Brook University Hospital. We were told the worst case scenario, which was he, he might not ever you know, walk or, or move his arms again, and he had full paralysis of his limbs, so we, we didn't see him move anything. But after undergoing multiple surgeries, the comeback story began. Easton's toes started moving. Then we slowly started to see him just twitch, and he's still smiling throughout the whole way. And after 18 days in the pediatric ICU, <laughs> Easton's smile spread throughout the hospital unit. A baseball curtain call, if you will. Easton was moving on from second base. <laughs> Third base, Shriners Hospitals for Children in Pennsylvania, where Easton is getting stronger and stronger. He's just proven everybody wrong. Good job, Easton! Way stronger than me and David combined. And I think he's the one that keeps us strong. I mean, just watching him do four to five hours of therapy a day and just smiling through it is just, it's, it's crazy. And those hours of therapy can be costly. Which takes us back to home runs for Easton, the fundraiser held by the Mount Sinai community to help out their little slugger. Let's go Easton! Let's go Easton! We could have never expected the amount of support that we've gotten. There are no words for what complete strangers are doing for us. Oh, get out! And as the community rallies, so has Easton. He's expected to cross home plate later this month and return home to Long Island. He's the strongest person I know. Yay! We love Easton! Jamie Stewart, News 12. So much support for that sweet boy with the sweet smile. Nearly $150,000 has been raised to help Easton. If you'd like to donate, you still can. The GoFundMe link is on our website, news12.com, under numbers.